Hello friends today we will do the 7th class english book honeycomb poem number 3 and the name of the poem is the shed this poem is about a shed a shed is a structure with a roof and we can use those sheds for garden storage or to keep the animals in sheds or as a workshop also you can see the shed in the picture now let's get started with the poem This is a very simple poem and it tells us that we should not believe in baseless stories about ghosts and about other supernatural creatures as these stories are mostly used by people for their own benefit and same is the case with this poem also so let's find out There is a shed at the bottom of her garden with a spider's web hanging across the door the hinges are rusty and creak in the wind when i am in bed i lie and i listen i'll open that door one day in these lines poet is describing the shed that shed which is situated at the bottom bottom means at the end of his garden because nobody goes inside the shed and nobody cleans that shed that's why there are spiders web in that shed the hinges are rusty and creak in the wind now poet says that when the wind blows the creaking sound of the rusty hinges attracts the poet's attention hinges means the door joints which help the door to open or close just as we have also the joints to move our legs or arms in the same way doors have hinges jisko hum punjabi mein kabja bolte hain and rusty means jangal jaise jis iron ko hum use nahi karte wo rusty ho jata hai in the same way as nobody goes inside the shed and nobody used to open that door that's why the hinges of the door has become rusty and those create a kind of sound and when i am in the bed i lie and listen and whenever the poet is in relaxed mood and he is in his bed and he plans to satisfy his curiosity to see what is hidden inside the shed and the boy said that one day i will open that door and we'll see what is there inside the shed there is a dusty old window around at the side with three cracked panes of glass i often think there is something someone staring at me each time that i pass i'll peep through that window one day the poet says that there is a dusty old window dusty means full of dust with three cracked panes of glass now panes of glass means a window with sections divided in it and those three panes means the three sections of the window are broken whenever the poet passes from near that window he feels that there is someone inside the shed and he is staring staring means looking and poet feels that he is looking at me through that broken window and i'll peep through that window at one day and the poet said that to find out whether there is someone inside the shed or not i'll peep through peep through means to look i will look through that window one day my brother says there is a ghost in the shed who hides under the rotten floor boards in these lines poet's brother warns him that there is a ghost in the shed and he is hidden under the rotten floorboards rotten means jo kharab ho chuka hai toot chuka hai and floor beds means the boards used to make floor a wooden floor that mean jo wooden floor toot chuka hai uske andar ghost chupa hua hai and if i ever dare to set foot inside he will jump out and chop off my head but i'll take a peek one day his brother said that if the boy went inside the shed the ghost will jump out from that broken floor and he will chop off his head means uski gardan kaat dega but in these lines his brother is just trying to frighten him there is not any kind of ghost in the shed he just wanted to keep the poet away from the shed because he wanted to use the shed for his own purpose but that thing does not much frighten the poet he still wished that i will take a peek take a peek means take a look that one day i will 
go inside the shed and will look that what is there inside the shed i know that there is not really a ghost my brother tells lies to keep the shed for his den now as i already told you that his brother want to use the shed for his own purpose so in these lines poet says that i know that there is not any kind of ghost my brother is telling lies because he wanted to use that shed for his den den means a home for wild animals there is not anyone stirring or making strange noises poet says that there is not anyone inside the shed who is looking at me or who is making strange noises because that is just his imagination and the spider has been gone from his web since i don't know when i will go into that shed one day soon but not just yet now poet says that even the spider has gone from that shed i don't know about the time but the spider is no longer there so poet says that now very soon i will be able to set my foot inside the shed but he says that this cannot happen immediately aur iska matlab hai ki wo keh raha hai ki abhi itni jaldi bhi nahi jaunga i hope you have understood this very simple poem keep watching the videos and like if you understood the explanation easily thank you